Welcome to Humble Films. I am the Humble Filmmaker and I make movies. So let's go back to last year, when I created Terminal 94. I ended up getting a first place win at regionals and a second place at states with it. Now, don't get me wrong, that was a cool film and all, and it got great feedback, but I knew I could make something even cooler. Fast forward to late 2019, and that's when Relentless was born. So, my teacher and I brainstormed what we wanted in the film, from crazy stunts to props and locations, so we could see what we could make happen. About a month later, I had a general idea of what I wanted and started to write the script. To write the script, I used a free Windows software called Trailby. For gear, I used what I had access to and made it all work. The majority of the shots were taken on a Canon Rebel SL1 that was mounted on a copycat glide cam as a stabilizer. For aerial shots, I used a DJI Phantom 3 standard. Lastly, for audio, I used a budget Tackstar shotgun mic that was mounted in my camera's hot shoe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, big dog, we're expecting you in approximately 10 minutes. Roger that, praying man. Our first scene we filmed was at a local mansion where we got permission to film for a short time before they opened publicly for the day. It was a beautiful place and it looked great on camera, but let's just say that filming doesn't always go as smooth as planned. How you doing, bud? Yep. <laughs> uh, what we say? This is a plane. Find the scenes footage? Find the scenes footage. Fast forward to the next weekend. It was time for the big plane scene at a local airport. We only had a short amount of time to film, but managed to do everything in just a few hours. Overall, this went well with no issues. It's been going great, man. Next one's gonna be even cooler. <laughs> How was your shoot? I'm a seasoned veteran now. After this, I hit a bump in the road and got busy with many other things. However, a few months later, I was able to start production again. With less than three weeks till the competition and having none of my three projects I was entering finished, it was time to focus. I put out a call for help, and let's just say I have the best friends ever. We managed to pack a weekend full of shooting and finish getting the shots I needed. One night, in about two hours, we filmed all of our office coverage, which was fun since we didn't even have an office, so I made a makeshift one in the loading dock of a factory. The next day, we filmed for several hours at a cool pond, a lake, and the factory from before. We even had time to record the voiceovers as well and attempt to do our own sound effects. Let's just say that they didn't make it into the final edit. Speaking of editing, it was time to finish that. With basically no time to spare, I had to work quickly and efficiently. Using my software and hardware of choice, which was Adobe Premiere Pro on a custom built Windows 10 machine, I edited the film with ease. Luckily, unlike some of my other films, there were no visual effects needed, so I was able to have the final edit done in a very short amount of time since I had two other projects to finish for the competition at the same time. Some of the other softwares I used in post-production were Adobe Media Encoder for exporting, Adobe Acrobat Pro DC for editing the narrative description in, Soundly for finding free to use sound effects, Audacity for the voice recording, Fusion 360 for creating the 3D model of the allotment card, and Kira to prepare the 3D print for printing. I'll make sure you get proper compensation. But, yeah. okay sir. After all that time, Relentless was finally competition ready. Come competition day, I set it up, hoped for the best, and it certainly surpassed all of my expectations. It took home a first place win at regionals, which not only meant that I was going on to the state competition for the second year in a row, but that it was time to release the film publicly. It landed its place on YouTube on March 13th, 2020, and received the best feedback I could have asked for from my friends and the world. Lastly, I'd just like to thank everyone that helped make this film possible. Whether you helped make an idea come to reality, offered resources, recommended something useful, or just shared the film on your social media, the creation and success of Relentless would not have been possible without you. I'd also like to thank those who put on the PA Media and Design competition for moving it online this year to give me and everyone who put hard work into their projects the opportunity to still show off what we created. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, there's many others like it on my channel, as well as more short films, so please feel free to check them out and subscribe if you like what you see. I'm the Humble Filmmaker, reminding you to stay humble.